Hey guys, this is Flyboy EUC. So I've been writing for about two weeks now every day with this cover, and I'm loving it. I just, I really like my power pads and my coochie pads. It just makes writing on pothole filled streets a lot more comfortable. So, been thinking of different ways to do this. I originally put the cover on over all my pads, but it was so thick that my pedals couldn't close all the way. So I took them all off. Just been riding with the shell bear. I did put one layer of this foam in the area that's depressed, just so I didn't have a sharp edge cutting in. And what I plan on doing is Velcroing the Kuji pads and my power pads to the outside of the wheel or outside of the cover like this. I've been uh, watching lots of YouTube videos on how to attach velcro to fabric particularly sewing so I've got my sewing machine here but uh, a lot of people said if you sew velcro that has the adhesive on the back it's gonna gum up everything and it's not gonna sew well. So I'm gonna try just doing the adhesive. If that doesn't stay on, then I'm gonna go to the sewing. I found this trick in another YouTube video of someone putting nail polish remover on the needle and he was able to get really good results. So we'll see how it goes. My initial idea is to put the fuzzy side on the cover. That way if I ever want to ride without the pads for whatever reason, I won't have the hooks digging into my leg. It'll be the nice soft stuff. So I made this little template of the space. And after trying various ways of measuring it, trying to model it up in a CAD drawing, I realized something that I learned in elementary school. If you have a piece of paper over a three-dimensional object, a, a flat three-dimensional object, and you get a crayon and color over it, it will pick up all of the features underneath that paper. So this is that uh, injection mold witness spot that's in the middle of that space, and then you can kind of see the darkness fades where the paper was going up and then there was a hard line at the edge and then I just cut on that line and that's how I got this shape. And then I used that to cut out my pads. And for the Kuji pads I just used the template that Kuji put in his video and then shrinked it by maybe 20% just because I wanted smaller ones. I feel like his were too big. So I'll, I'm probably just going to put the one strip down because it looks like that's going to fit perfectly and just trim that off. I'm just going to put that right on top of my other pad. If any of you are wondering how I made these, I just followed the steps exactly in Kuji's video on how to jump with an electric unicycle. Basically it's just layers of tape and neoprene foam. But how I got this shape is by getting this template that I made. And then I just taped it to the back of the foam. Basically I just get cheap scotch tape and form a little loop out of it. I put that loop on here. The cheaper the tape, the better because you can pull it off the paper without wrecking the paper. I do it in three spots. One on each end and then one in the middle. Uh, 
Now we can take the paper off. Yeah, so this one is going to go on this side. Now I need to do this side. Nice thing about using Velcro is that if I want to try a different uh, power pad shape, let's say I want to move this forward or have something thick in the back, I can easily swap these out and find the one that works best. Yeah, I'm basically going to use this as my guide. Wow, that glue smells like burning something. Pretty much where I want it. I have one shot at this. I'm hoping that the glue really grabs onto this fabric. I put some Velcro on my other cover that I have for the 18XL. I had it on the top to hold my seat down. So here's the other side of the fabric, but essentially this went right on top of the wheel. And uh, it stuck to this pretty well. There was a couple times when it wanted to peel off, but that was the thinner material and it was on a very loose part. This is on a very tight part. It doesn't want to move as much, so I'm hoping that this, this wants to stay. It's always scary doing things for the first time because if you mess up, <laughs> these things aren't cheap, but they certainly protect your wheel very well. I'm hoping this works. All right, one side done. Time to do the other side. This adhesive really smells. It really does smell like something's on fire. Alright, we'll work on putting the hook side on the pads. Alright, got the loop side. Now time to cut this off. All right, I've got my loop side and my power pad. So now it's time to peel the tape off and stick it on. Just to give you guys a little bit closer look of how I did this. So I have three quarter inch layers on the bottom and then the fourth one is on top and it drapes down to try to make it look smooth. Uh, I didn't want to have just a, you know, this chamfer thing. And then I put some tape there to kind of keep this down. Didn't really work as much as I hoped. I found the trick of taking this off. It's to go to where there's a crease. Pull it up from there. All right, I'm gonna keep that back. The reason why I'm doing this before I put the rest down is because I have this kind of stretch to go all the way. So I want to make sure I adhere it in that stretched state. All right, one power pad on. OK, 
Okay, I've got my other side now. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Fuji pads are a little bit harder just because I don't have this nice cutout of where to put it. But the past two wheels that I had, you can barely see it, but I line it up with the ridge that goes along the bottom of the shell and the bottom vent in the back. I might do one right there and then the other one like that. Maybe cut right there. I've decided with this one, I'm going to put on this side first, and then I'll put the Velcro on here like this, and then I'll put it down. I feel like I'll have more control. All right, so I've cut out the little loopy ones. There we go. Perfect. Now the other one. There's one Gucci pad. I've got my two pads. Wax on, wax off. That side's ready to go. Alright, no going back. That's gonna go right there. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll let you guys know after a couple days how it works. If it wiggles around too much, I might do something else. Well, I hope it works out though, because I do not imagine that this Velcro is going to come off of this material very well so I think I'm just gonna have to live with it I definitely don't want to cut into the material uh, just because it's gonna lose all of its strength and hopefully the glue stays if not then I'm gonna have to go back and sew all of these into the fabric and I hope I don't have to do that but I'm prepared if that comes 